Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a new video of mine today and today is kind of like part two of yesterday's video. Yesterday I asked who your favorite striker on FIFA Ultimate Team was and you guys responded with over 4,000 comments which is absolutely unreal. So I just want to say a huge, huge thanks to everyone who left a comment, a like, a favor, all that stuff. It was truly awesome to see, something that I put quite a bit of effort into. Um, you know, I, I try and put a lot of effort into all my videos but that one, you know, it took a, quite a bit of effort um, to just do so well and I honestly, I can't thank you guys enough for the response that I got. But uh, at the end of that video, I said I'd tell you who my stri favorite striker was. And in fact, it was none of those guys in that video. Um, he's actually recently, he's, he's a new favorite of mine. And um, a lot of you know him as a Premier League legend. And unfortunately, you Irish fans might not like him so much. But he goes by the name Thierry Henry. What a fantastic player he is in this game. Uh, it's a team of the year version. It's his MLS All-Star team. Uh, th that was released not too long ago, but I believe they're still in packs. And uh, the Xbox price for him, 130k, PS3, 131k, and uh, pretty pretty stable between the two consoles. Card weight, which I get asked, what the hell does that mean? Every single episode, every single uh, review, I suppose. Uh, it, it pretty much just means how often he appears in the market in cards. So for me, it's medium. So there's not tons of him, but uh, he's also not a super rare card. Let's take a look a bit, a little look at his trading graph, Xbox standard just really very very standard graph nothing going on uh, people paying him a little bit too much for him maybe um maybe not knowing his exact price didn't do their research or something uh but some people also picking up a bargain and on the psv it's a little bit more fluctuating but again nothing drastic and to be honest with you i can't see his price dropping over time uh, no actually that's a lie i see his price dropping over time but not a drastic amount to the point where you're picking him up for 60k or something like that i just don't see it happening i see a lot of people player uh people buying him and just tending to keep him because he honestly is a great striker but I'll talk a little bit more about his individual features as we get on to the goals so let's take a look at his in-game stats his in-game stats for an 85 rated player are per pretty pretty schmexy um, 93 ball control 99 curve holy bejesus that is that is some mother trucking goodness right there 99 curve his finesse shots are just silky smooth um, 91 dribbling 96 finishing and that 96 finishing, I'll talk a little bit about later on in the video, but uh, that that is a really key part of him. 92 penalties, um, just all round really good stats, four star skills, so you're not limited to the roulettes, the step overs. You can actually pull off some Ronaldo chops, some Burba spins, all that fun stuff, which most certainly helps to for a more versatile player, and that's really what Henri is all about: is versatility. 86 acceleration, nothing to brag about, but he does feel much faster than that says. Uh, maybe it's the fact that he's got great strength com combined with a solid piece of pace, and uh, it makes for a really good player, I guess. And uh, so let's talk about a bit about the main feature about Henri for me. For me, he seems to be able to finish any dinner, any plate that's put in front of him. He'll finish that up, and he'll eat. He'll have seconds. Honestly, it truly is immense. Uh, you know, you put him in front of goal. I almost say 9.9 .9 out of 10 times he will put it away, and that's what I like about him so much. Here's a free kick that I actually scored with Henri. For me, he was, you know, he wouldn't, I wouldn't say he was a signature free kick taker. You have players like Kazuki Honda, the 84 in form version, which is just fantastic at uh, free kicks. But goals like that just make me want to just lick his body. I'm being serious. Like, that is insane. Just uh, just straight off the chip, the chip through ball. And uh, he manages to volley that into the top corner. And like I said, his finishing is silky, silky smooth in this game. Nice little back heel there, followed by a good, good finesse. And uh, things are fantastic with Henri. Like I said, his strength, so he can actually muscle out defenders. I find with players who are quick and pacey and have good finishing, they often lack the strength in a player. And for me, that kind of sucks. I mean, he, he feels like a better version of Lukaku in a way, in the sense that um, he just seems a lot more versatile. He's actually got four-star skills, like I mentioned earlier, which uh, Ronaldo chops, all that fun shenanigans, uh, makes it for a more fun time to play with him more than anything. Um, the next big thing for me has got to be the fact that his, what do you call it, his uh, positioning is unreal. Take a look at that. He just pops back in to make sure he's onside, turns and just slots it in the corner. And his positioning, that and his finishing make for just 
an all-round top quality player. A nice another chip through ball and Henri is going to finish that all day, every day. That's what impresses me so much about him um, is, like I said, his finishing and just his runs, like I said, his positioning, which also means that the runs he makes are really, really good. You know, he'll start bending his runs. That's what we're supposed to see in FIFA 13 as well is that players are meant to be more intelligent with runs, but it seems as though EA have kind of delivered us an early package in the sense that they're showing off what the, what these early runs, uh, these uh, smart runs that they can do in FIFA 13 and kind of just given Thierry Henry the, the ability to do them because he seems so good. He Like, you guys will see some of these goals. Some of them are where he does a lot of the uh, work, you know, roulettes around the players or whatever, but a lot of time he's just, he's the one getting in space, as you can see there, drops off into the back and finds himself the space to volley it in the back. And uh, that's what these goals are here. You know, they're not exactly the best goals in the world, but they're just here to showcase what Henri's all about. And uh, one strange thing about him is his shot. Take his shot from anywhere on the pitch, and it just seems to have power in it. Seriously, it, whether he's off balance or not, the, his shot just seems to have some sort of magical power where it will at least test the keeper. And as you can see there, another pretty schnazzy run, but unfortunately I decided not to pass it to him there. And uh, his heading, that brings me on to the last point. Henri isn't exactly known for his fantastic heading, but uh, in this he just seems to be good at it, and that's what's good. He's six foot two, I believe, so you can put the ball into the into the box. Anyways, let's take a quick look here. We've got the good, the bad, the ugly. The good, his fantastic finishing. That's the big. That's the key point for me. The bad is the fact that he's not very compatible, and when I say that, I mean. You, you know, he doesn't fit into tons of teams, and that's kind of a little bit of a letdown for me. You know, if it was the Arsenal version, then you could have him in a Premier League side, um, you could have him in, and in a French side, but unfortunately for me, you can only really have him in a French side if you want to make a really solid, good goal team. But uh, to be honest with you, there are some nice MLS players out there at the moment. The ugly is that he's French, and uh, uh, that, I'm just joking, guys. Don't take that personally if you're French watching this. I'm just joking, but... Uh, yeah, so that's about it. I couldn't really find anything that was ugly about him because he is just an all-round fantastic striker. And like I said, my current favorite striker on Ultimate Team. But like I said, guys, thanks so much for your support on recent videos. It truly has been out of this world. And uh, just a big thanks to everyone who, who has been supporting me. And I can't thank you all enough. So, uh, yeah, guys, I'll catch you all later. And uh, on screen right now, you have two videos you can pick. Um, I, I'm sure you guys will decide which one you want to go see. Also, I've got t-shirts in the link down below. And uh, subscribe if you already haven't. I'll see you guys all later. Bye-bye.